I'm Ron for Vortex. We're going to go through the hot water unit here in a few minutes. But to haul this around to show people, I had this trailer built that makes it easy for me to demo, makes it easy for a city to clean seats, sidewalks, equipment guys to be able to do that. So what I tried to do is our hot water unit has C channels here that we can pick it up with a forklift. So what I did was did a safety attachment so I can take these wing nuts off, slide this out of here, and this is what's holding this power washer in place. So when we get to a location, we either have a stationary unit with a hose reel over here that we can pull the hose out and be able to wash equipment. This is a gravity fed unit. We have a 335 gallon water tank. By getting this up in the area, I can take and filter it and run that water right into the power washer without using a pump. So we can go all over and have this on a trailer. Most stationary trailers though, you have a lot of money tied up and that's the only thing you can do with it. So what I decided to do was put a ramp on it. So now I can come here, loosen up these wing nuts, slide these C channels out, come over here to my winch, loosen up the winch, and I can alone roll this unit off the trailer and I can use it in my shop. I can take it in around the back of the house. We can store it for the winter. So now I have a hot water portable unit or I have a trailer mounted stationary unit that we can use for rental businesses, cleaning equipment, whatever. This trailer has storage box here in front. It has a battery on it with electric brakes. There's an area there you can put a 12 volt battery I've had some people suggest put a 12 volt water pump on here and they can be like cities can be watering plants with that water tank or washing the sidewalks and the seats. You can put all your accessories in here. You have your ramp assembly here. Your hose reel is all hooked up ready to go. I have a shut off valve right here, a filter and an inch and a half water line taking care of the pressure washer. This trailer, we put a 5,000 pound axle underneath, so and it's a low drop axle, so it's a lower deck. We can put a 335 gallon tank on it. By getting this up in the air, we accomplish two things. We can gravity feed the power washer, but I also have a storage area underneath. So now I have a garage. The sweepers, the deck cleaners, all your accessories, any chemicals you want to haul, all your guns and hoses you can lock up, keep them safe. And when you send your crew out or you're out doing work, you have all your equipment there when you get there. If we go back over here to the front, you can see where I put a paddle lock. There's a bolt right here, holes in this C channel that we can lock this unit up. To make it safe. That's kind of an idea of a special trailer that I think will be very easy to be able to find different jobs. And what is this trailer built for? Who can use it? I've had a lot of rental facilities that like the idea of being able to keep it stationary, be able to take and send it out where the guy has water and everything with him so they know they're not going to burn the power washer up by a well not having enough water to be able to take care of the power washer so we have ample water. We know it's clean water. We've sold some of these units, the power washers, to cities and school districts, but it's hard for them to move it around. It's hard for one kid to go out in the morning and wash the sidewalks. They gotta find a garden hose at a restaurant or a store. By adding the tank, they can pull it behind a four by four or a pickup, and they can go down in the morning along the streets before people show up and clean the streets, clean the seats, clean the park. Uh, Port Jefferson out in Long Island bought it so they can go clean all their streets in the morning and take care of their surroundings. I had a farmer buy it so he could go out and take care of his equipment in the field, wash it up. Uh, we've had a lot of school districts being very interested. So we're just coming out with the idea right now, but I think from the people I've showed it to, they have a lot of ideas of things this trailer would help. Where the stationary unit, you know, we've had this out for about three years now and it does very, very well. With the C channels, it's very, very easy to pick up. 
but if you don't have water out there or you don't have a forklift out there, it's a little harder to do other jobs. That's why I came up with the idea of the trailer. We're going to go through the professional hot water unit of how we designed it to make it very easy to work with and very heavy duty and last you a long time. Most of the problems that I've seen with most hot waters when I was looking at designing this is they are very hard to service. You can't get to the parts, the pumps are up underneath, the burners normally are vertical so the burners down below so all of a sudden everything's falling into it when it's going down the road and shaking. I wanted to make it easy to service. So what we did is we started with a heavy duty commercial aluminum frame, all welded, powder coated silver and clear. I put C channels here to be able to pick it up with a forklift. It also makes it easy to strap down in the back of your pickup or on this trailer. It's very protected. I have a 13 gallon aluminum fuel tank under here that holds the diesel or kerosene and that's used to take care of the burner. If we start on this side, we start with a Beckett burner, which build, Beckett builds about 90% of all hot water heaters and boilers in the country. They're out of Ohio. Very heavy duty. It's got automatic shutoff when you run out of fuel. Also an automatic shutoff if you leave it set there running without running a power washer. This is a coil, and this is what heats up the water. There's about 120 foot of Schedule 80 pipe in here. Most of these have three coils of pipe inside. We use four, and we also use four pancakes, which are dividers. Most of them use three. That gets us a lot better heating action for our unit. I also like it by, I said before, being horizontal. It's going to last a lot longer. It's not going to vibrate around and crack the pipes. It's a lot easier to work with. I also think you lose a lot less heat with that type of end instead of a big hole in the top burning straight up. For our units, we put three safety factors in them. Most of them have an on and off switch for the burner and have a pressure switch. My worry is if that pressure switch isn't working, when this thing's running at 195 degrees, steam's 212, you got a chance of blowing this burner up. So we put a flow switch, which there's gotta be water flowing. There's also gotta be pressure on the pump head, so it means the gun has to be on. And there's also a thermostat, which is right here and reads the water coming out of the coil. If all three of them things don't work, I have my green light on for the burner to kick on, but it will not kick in and turn the burner on and the yellow light come on till I have pressure, flow, and temperature. Then the yellow light's gonna come in. On this, because of that light, with a Honda motor, this is a Honda 390 electric start, there's no way to shut this switch off from this motor. So if somebody leaves the switch on, doesn't shut it off tonight, it could run your battery down. So we come standard with a deep cycle marine battery so you can recharge that battery if somebody forgets and leaves the switch on. For service purposes, they're normally a wiring nightmare. We did a very simple wiring harness. The pressure switch is red and brown. It's black and brown going to the fuse. This one over here is for the flow switch. It's brown and black, so it's all color coded. If you're having problems with one or the other, you jump the wires and you know which switch is acting up. We're staying with our professional heavy duty unit. We're going with a gear reduction pump. So that has a gearbox on that's slowing this pump down to 1450 RPM. It's got about a third more oil in than our direct drive and it has a heavier duty head. We also have stayed with our patented three foot bypass hose, which helps keep the unit cool when you're moving around and not having the gun wide open. There's also a brass Y filter. What happens right now is this is a basic cold water unit. So there's no hot water touching this pump. So right now today, if I want to unhook this and hook my hose straight up to there, I have a cold water power washer. Today, if I want to run hot water, I plug that in. That hose comes into the beginning of the coil, goes through all the pipe, the burner's warming that pipe up, comes out the other end. So right now, I have this hose hooked to my hose reel. We also have a hose reel that would mount right here, stationary on the unit for a portable unit. Presently, I have a T put in here because some days I want to use this with a rotary cleaner, 
but I want to have another gun that I can be washing with a deck cleaner or a rotojet. So instead of having to unhook all the hoses and guns, I can be running two different hoses off this power washer. You only want to run one gun at a time, but we can run two different pieces of equipment. So lifetime on the frame, six years on the pump because of the bypass hose for warranty, three years on the Honda motor. This is our Vortex Professional 4000 Hot Water. Thank you.